Here at Life Technologies, we offer millions of TACMAN gene expression assays targeting over 20 different species. Now that's a lot of assays. And for any particular gene, you're likely to find more than one assay. In fact, your search might turn up dozens. So how do we know which one to choose? Well, that's why in this video, we're going to look at how to navigate search results and to pick the assay that best suits your needs. Let's say we want to measure gene expression levels of VEGF in mice. Performing a search for this gene family name returns 37 different assays. And we can narrow down that number of options by selecting filters on the left-hand panel of the search results screen. For example, let's say we only want to detect VEGF A. That leaves us with only seven assays to choose from, a much more manageable list, but still six assays more than we probably need. To figure out which of the remaining options is right for us, the first thing we might want to consider is the number of transcripts targeted by each. We can find this information for NCBI RefSeq transcripts here under the transcripts heading. In fact, the assay that picks up the highest number is already identified for us. It's this top one that hits four different known transcripts. To have a look at the assays and transcripts, let's click on the View Assay on Map link. We can now choose to see only the highly curated transcripts recognized by NCBI's database or to also view the generally more abundant but less curated list provided by GenBank. Since most researchers tend to trust the accuracy of the former list more, we'll use just the NCBI transcript information for this example. Note that as we mouse over each assay, it turns yellow along with the various transcripts detected by that specific primer and probe set. Here's the key. Depending upon the specific goals of our experiment, we'll either want an assay that detects as many known transcripts as possible. For VEGFA, that's this assay, which detects four of the six transcripts, or one that interrogates only specific transcripts. Oh, and note that by scrolling down to this list and clicking on a specific transcript ID, we can go directly to NCBI's website and get more information on that particular isoform. So besides the transcripts detected, what else might we want to consider when choosing our assay? Well, another thing might be the assay design. Most assays are designed to span exons, but others aren't. And because the second category of assay can, by definition, detect residual genomic DNA, it's important to thoroughly DNA our RNA samples and to run no RT controls when using non-exon spanning assays. Another possible consideration is whether the assay is inventoried or made to order. Inventoried assays are typically shipped for overnight delivery within one to two days, while made to order assays will usually arrive within five to 12 days. So if you're really in a rush, be sure to get the inventoried assay. And that's really it for choosing the best assay. Now, once we're ready to order, we'll need to choose our preferred TACMAN reporter die and our assay size. As you can see, Changing any of these also alters the catalog number. Once we're ready, we simply add that specific assay to our cart and then follow the normal procedure for completing our order. Do you have a real-time PCR question? Just ask TACMAN. Ask us on Twitter using the hashtag AskTACMAN. Hit us up on Facebook or go visit lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTACMAN.